Good morning! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys part two of a day in the life of a nanny. I have four kids in the summertime. So I'm going to hook you guys up on the camera mount and get driving because I need to get driving. And I'm going to talk about some things that I do as a nanny and just some things about my job. Okay guys, so now that I'm on the road, I could talk about what I do as a nanny and just a brief little overview of my job. I started with this family in November, I would say the first week of November, and because of COVID, I have stopped working in March and just started up back again three weeks ago. This is my third week working back with them. Literally, I was so nervous going back because I'm like, hey, the kids have been with their parents full time for the first time in their lives. The parents have always had a nanny. I don't know how the kids are gonna be when a new adult figure comes back in and is like a parent to them. So I was a little bit nervous, but there was even one ounce of something I couldn't handle with these kids. I would not be taking care of four because the only way you could really take care of four kids being a nanny is if it's doable. Like if, yes, you have your hard days, but you have good days too and the kids listen. That's the number one important thing. They respect you as a parent basically. So at 7.35 I'm driving and it's not a long drive for me. I'd say about 25, 20 minutes and I get there. My day begins immediately. In the summertime, it's really different being a nanny because the days are way, way more fun. Like, I worked basically the whole winter with these kids. And let me tell you, you guys can see the three car seats back here. It was a hassle just getting out with them. I kid you not, like, the kids were always cold before I put them in the car. Then they were like cold warming up in the car. Then they were fussy because they were wearing so much crap. And when we would get to places, they would be fussy to take it off, and half of the days I'm paranoid driving on the road because of the snow, and it's a big responsibility to be driving kids in your car. But um, in the summertime, I usually pack a bathing suit, and I don't pack sunscreen because I just put it on my face, and I bring along my laptop and uh, any other summer essential that I need to bring, sunglasses, uh, I got my coffee here. I have my Yeti dupe from Target, 10 bucks in the workout section. I bring everything that I would need if I were to get up and go to a beach. A towel, everything. Because in the summertime, your days are unpredictable. Well, your days are unpredictable any day because it's kids. But like in the summertime, you could totally just pick everything up and go to the beach or the pool. Um, things change in the day. So you want to make sure you're prepared. Another thing I want to mention before I get into my actual day is that, what's going on over there? I start my days now at 8 o'clock in the morning. In the winter time, I started at 7.30 because uh, the kids wake up later right now. So I do arrive at 8 and to be honest, I am off at 5, but because it's four kids, I can't just up and leave when the parents get home. Like, I have to give them an overview of what happened that day, and if I'm in the middle of feeding the kids, I wanna make sure they're all good to go when I leave. I don't wanna just dip out. Like, that'd be very weird if I had a nanny and she just dipped out when I came home. Like, what the hell happened today? You know, what did the kids do? What did they eat? Did something happen? So, that is usually my schedule. And I'm just going to show you guys my day as best as I can. Of course, I am not going to show you guys their faces, just strictly what I do. The kid ages are 8, 4, 4, and 2. There is a boy and girl twin. And the 8-year-old is very observant, so like I don't want to be... I don't want him to see the camera is basically what I'm saying, because he's a smarty pants. Anyway, I'm excited to give you guys an update because it's summertime, it's a little bit different. And yeah, I will see you guys when I get there. All right, when I got inside today, the kids were already up, which is not surprising. Some days they get up when I come, some days they get up a few minutes later. But today they asked me for waffles. So I put a couple of them in the toaster and usually they have yogurt, cereal, waffles. That's usually the three that they rotate. And then I headed immediately to the dishwasher. So I empty it every morning, that way it is empty 
for the day so that I can put dirty dishes in there and then they can turn it on before they go to bed and so forth. For breakfast, I honestly just pick at everything. I had a waffle today, but I know that's not enough, but literally like some days I'll have a big breakfast, some days I just pick at whatever they have. Yes? You ready for breakfast? Do you want something else? Um, what do you want? I don't want something. Hey guys, so every morning is very different. It's not the same every day. Right now, the little two-year-old is finishing up his breakfast. He woke up a little bit later today because he's younger and he just sleeps more and all the other three kids are done the oldest one didn't shower yesterday i completely forgot so he's doing that right now and then the twins are playing so while they're doing that i usually like to come upstairs and make the beds the eight-year-old does make his own bed but i touch it up because it looks bad can you make your bed sure. okay Are you dancing? <laughs> Are you done? Say, I'm done. Thank you. I'm done. <laughs> High five. Let's <laughs> pick out your shorts. What kind of shorts do you want to wear? You want to wear the green ones? Okay. Okay, what kind of shirt do you want? Which one do you want? This one? Yes. Okay. Can you pick up your books? Can you put your books away? Hey guys, so now all the kids are dressed and ready to go for the day. I clean their rooms and now I'm gonna throw in their laundry. So I do laundry every day just to keep it up because it is for kids. I do their sheets once a week and blankets I think every two weeks. So right now I'm gonna throw in their laundry for the day. park today I always ask them what they want to do because it's about them what do they want to do I give them a couple options and they pick so we are going to a park today I'm gonna to pack up their water bottles pack up a snack we are not having lunch there we're just gonna be there probably from 10 o'clock to 11 30 12 o'clock and head home for lunch everywhere we go right now is pretty close we don't go anywhere indoors so usually we have so many places to go outside so like i said right now i'm gonna pack up their water bottles a snack and pack them up in a car <laughs> Okay, let's 
let's leave this here and we when we come home you can play with it okay come on let's put on your shoes why are they wet let's put on your shoes come on oh other foot this one good job nope it's not rainy it's sunny outside Hey guys, so we arrived at the park. The kids had a snack and now they are playing at the park. I can see them. They're right next to me. I still have a little one right next to me finishing up, but we usually play for about a little bit over an hour. It always ends up being that amount. Right now the park is pretty empty, but I guarantee you in 30 minutes it's going to be packed. I'm going to go and watch them once the little one is done. Hey guys, so I'm back home with the kids. They are currently playing in the living room and I just came upstairs to quickly toss this stuff in the washer to the dryer. We did come home a little bit earlier than I anticipated and that's because I felt like the kids were playing well today at the park. Let me do this quick and I'll talk to you guys about what I mean. Hey guys, so basically what I was gonna tell you guys was that it's just sometimes difficult to go out with an eight-year-old, two four-year-olds, and a two-year-old because it's such an age gap and not a lot of times do the kids want to do the same thing. And I don't mean like they want to play two different things. Like an eight-year-old and a two-year-old are two different ages. They have two different needs. So sometimes like the eight-year-old is just sitting there lingering, not doing anything. And just today they weren't playing so well at the park. So I'm like, let's go home. And I just take away screens. I'm like, okay, you can only get screens when I'm making lunch. So right now the kids are playing inside. I'm out of breath because I've been running around. Sorry for kids, but I'm going to dust the kids' bedrooms and just clean up. I do have a chores list. They, Ever since I came back, they've been doing like a weekly list, which is really convenient for me because I can see what I need to get done and I don't feel overwhelmed because you need to visually see. Otherwise, it's all going to be in your head and you're going to be like overwhelmed. So I'm going to just wipe down the wood in the kids rooms while they're playing because I also need some time to just like do my own thing and then I'm going to go make lunch. Four kids is definitely not easy. It's definitely a lot of work and I usually had three kids because the older one was in school but in the summertime I have all of them and it's a little bit tricky like I said because of the age gap but there's nothing I can do about it. I just have to make the best of it. And these kids are really good kids, but they have their days just like any other kids. And today was just not a smoother day. Like they were playing fun at the park, but then I felt like like one kid was not doing something he's not supposed to be doing. And then the other kid is bored because he doesn't really want to do anything but go on a screen. So... do eat pretty healthy so for example i do give them milk they love milk some rice sweet potato chicken and every kid likes something different so yes it looks like pretty small but i'm telling you i know my kids and if they finish all this then they're going to be full and good to go i always let them know that if they want more they can let me know and they do they're not shy they let me know if they're still hungry I've been working them for a while now and i know my kids and every single time i give them like a lot of stuff they put it in their mouth and they take it out and they don't want to finish it and i just do not want to waste food like that is the one thing i don't want to do i want them to be full but i also don't want to waste food so i know my kids i know how much they eat and i know what they like and they each kind of like different things so the kids finished lunch 
and right now I just put a few things in a pressure cooker just some rice chicken and some other stuff and I'm going to just make a little bit of a dinner I don't know I'm hungry so I just put something together and I'm going to clean the kitchen now right now the kids probably have like 30 40 minutes to play before nap time but I usually like them to clean up their toys before going upstairs so I'm gonna clean up I'll show you guys it in a time lapse but yeah that's usually that's what's happening right now. upstairs before they go take a nap I want to fold all the laundry because it's done and dry if the laundry is still going when they're sleeping I'll just quietly do it but right now I have time to do it before they go to bed so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm holding a doll oh my gosh definitely a nanny <laughs> Now that the kids are down for their nap, I'm going to finish cleaning the kitchen and then I'm going to eat. This is usually the time that I eat. It's pretty late, but I can't do anything about it. Like, I really can't. Like, there's four kids who need me. So, I'm going to eat. I just made some, like, broccoli um, rice thing. And then, after that, I'm just going to do a little bit of work on my laptop. So, this is, like, my break time. <music> right now and what I'm gonna do for the remaining couple hours of my shift is clean once the kids get up it's about them so this time is also the time I use for chores I'll post a picture right here they have like a weekly to-do list I think I mentioned it but I'm gonna probably do a couple of those things and then by the end of the week it'll be done and once the kids get up spend some more time with them give them a snack and hopefully head home <music> Just starting to clean and one of the kiddos came down she didn't nap but it's too late to put her down for a nap anyway so I'm gonna just go play with her hang out with her and I'll see you guys whenever I have an update but before I go play with her I'm actually gonna write down what we did today in this journal ever since I started working I have I've written down what we did every single day just for me to look back on for me to track things so I'm gonna write down what I did today with the kids and then just chill out for the rest of the time here. Guys, I completely forgot to do an outro. Basically what I ended up doing was just taking the girl upstairs to her room and organizing her room and getting rid of a few toys she picked out like a bag of toys that she no longer was interested in so that you know 
her room can stay clean otherwise it's just always messy so there you go guys that was a little bit of a glimpse into kind of my job it's different every day some days are harder some days are easier but thank you guys so much for watching leave a question down below that you have about my job relationship with the parents relationship with the kids boundaries anything leave it down below and uh, maybe i'll film a q a if i have enough questions love you don't forget to subscribe.